In this video, we will show how to use PW636i protection relay test set to test the auto reclosing function by using Goose application. There are three main steps for the testing. First, make current and voltage wiring connection. Second, import the SCL file into power test software for Goose configuration. Thirdly, use the relay template to do testing of auto reclosing function. Make current and voltage wiring. There's no need to do wiring connection of binary inputs and outputs because we shall use Goose transmission to replace the connection. Use Ethernet cable to connect one end to the relay. The other end connects to the Ethernet port on the rear panel of PW636i for Goose transmission. The Ethernet port on the front panel of PW636i is used to, to connect to the computer for the testing. After the wiring is complete, we can start the testing. Import the SCL file into power test software for configuration. Open the software power test, click Setup, System and IEC to configure. Click Goose Subscription, SCL file to import the SCL file which was exported from the relay. This is the PCS931 Goose Outputs interface. Number 0 is trip signal. Number 1 is auto reclosing signal. Mapping the binary input A as trip signal. Mapping the binary input D as auto reclosing signal. This needs to be consistent with the template setting. After the configuration, click OK. Then we can open the relay template to do the test. Click Test Manager, Template, follow the path where the relay template is saved. Open 78AR with Goose file. Here is the template interface, totally 5 states. The first state is previous fault, which means runs normally. The second state is the first fault happens, it results trip. And the trip signal will display on binary input A, because we have mapping the binary input A as trip signal in step 2. The third state is reclosing, and the reclosing signal will display on binary input D because we have mapping the binary input D as the auto reclosing signal in step 2. The fourth state is the second fault happens, it will speed up trip. The trip signal also displays on binary input A because we have mapping the binary input A as trip signal in step 2. The fifth state is the post-failure state, no more voltage and no current. Then we click F2 to start the test. Here we can check the test process and test result.